But Chris Cuomo's interviewing Kanye West. What could go wrong? What could go right? Let's see what they say. Kanye West joins us now. As you know, he's been all over the headlines, and not just because his music is dominant as a genre in and of itself. There's no question about the man's artistry and mastery. I got two generations of people in my family that love his music. Whenever someone says stuff stuff like that about you, it's always going to be like disrespect afterwards, right? When they're like, oh yeah, he's definitely a good guy. Def it's always going to come with disrespect. When they go out of their way to kind of praise you and suck you off, you know they're going to do some dirty towards you towards the end. But it's not about his music right now. Most recently, it was announced that he is making a bid or a deal at some stage to acquire the conservative social media platform Parler, which is right now offline. Uh, why? Is this because he was kicked off Twitter and Instagram? Is that what it's about? Let's discuss um, the relevance. Oh, yeah. Quick point about Parler. I joined it ages ago just because I want an account on every single social media platform and make sure I can get my because I regret not jumping on Twitter early so I could have my Twitter account just be my first name, Agostino. But, you know, whatever it may be, a social my Instagram, the same thing. But anyway, I jumped on Parler all these places to check them out. And what I find really interesting is how ugly and how clunky those apps are what is it about conservative or right wing or whatever you want to call them social media platforms why are they so ugly looking like even that website where they stream now what's it called um rumble it's fucking ugly looking it's the the fucking ui or ux of it doesn't it's all clunky and doesn't work are conservatives incapable of making nice apps there's a is there a nice good is there a nice looking conservative app that just works well and isn't clunky and doesn't stall and fidget and weird and, and run around on your phone and stuff in terms of you know not, it, you can't click on things like what is it about them where they can't design nice apps or am i just bugging out i don't know they don't believe in paying ux or user it just looks weird like honestly i had parlor before when it was on the apps and stuff and it was a horrible app really really was terrible it didn't work well it just looked horrible um didn't function correctly there was hardly anyone on it that ugh. but yeah, you know yeah it's gonna usify it turn it into black and white have it all aerial text or whatnot and you know whatever and the resonance with the man himself kanye west can you hear me can you see me yes but i want you guys to hear me and see me can you hear me and see me i can i see you you're in the back of a car you got a hoodie and a hat on okay cool i see i see the double all right uh, you guys are supposed to be made aware to use my legal name, Ye. I've changed my name like how Cassius Clay changed his name to Muhammad Ali. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you guys didn't mean it. As any <laughs> <laughs> this interview did. Look, look at his face. Look at the scowl. <laughs> this interview definitely started off on the right footing, innit? Kanye now berating him for not saying his name properly. My name is Ye, not Kanye. Please address me as such. Yeah, this is definitely going to start off well, isn't it? Any disrespect, but at least on the Chiron, changed my name to Ye. You can say formerly known as Kanye West if you like to, but my name is Ye. Why'd you uh, change it? Just, uh, <laughs> sir, uh, I need to have the name changed. Well <laughs> He doesn't like to answer questions, does he? He just likes to... That's the thing with Kanye. Why don't you just have a podcast like me? Just have a podcast where you can just get to rant and share your opinions and don't have to, like, listen to anybody or bounce off, or bounce ideas off somebody or take in criticism or ideas or be challenged on your points. Just have a podcast like me. Plug in your m microphone into audio in the face. Plug it into your laptop and just start ranting and raving. That's what you should be doing because he doesn't like to have conversations. He just wants to talk. <laughs> he just asked him why do you change your name and he got really defensive like <laughs> how do you make an effort to correct me on your name and then i can't ask you why you changed it <laughs> change it uh yeah but we'll, we'll, yeah we'll I change don't... it i'm asking you why did you change it just so people can understand well actually i don't owe people <laughs> an explanation to start <laughs> off with i have the right to change my name i have the right in America to vote on whoever I want to vote on. We have what? certain rights where as celebrities and even as the, the black voting block, as they call it, the black vote, the black vote, our 
Yo, what the fuck's he going on about, man? This is how you know yeah, he's like on some shit, in it? Like, or just like on another level. He got asked about his name and why he changed it. And look at Cobra's face. And now he's talking about the black vote, the black voter block. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it's good for views isn't it what is it already it's already on like half look at that 300,000 views already oh god this is amazing man. I love it forced to you know always talk about their finances always talk about their names but it was really um, uh, I didn't the name West is a slave name I don't need one explanation now he's explaining it perfect and I wanted to free myself of all of the older mentality that is that is the reason i'm telling you that understood uh, understood and appreciated I'm explaining. yeah thank you um all right so let's go now what's the questions we got so first one is where you are there is uh curiosity you said that you're going to meet with the former president this week is that why you're traveling right now um no i'm actually going to meet with the uh with the ceo of parla right now so that's real just, that deal uh, you think it's going to happen uh yeah absolutely and why do you want parlor well i just the the ceo is just really uh incredible like what he's been able to do like even before uh uh we discussed me taking ownership of it he was able to get it unbanned off of google and off of Apple, so people had a, uh, uh, they they had they had a, I know there were some people who worked in social media that hit my people immediately saying that the app was banned, but it wasn't the case. He actually had worked on uh, removing the ban on it. And why would I remain in a place where I'm toler just tolerated? Why not go to a place where I'm celebrated? It's actually something Kid Rock. Uh, uh, just gave me a text about that. Go to places where you're celebrated, not where you're just tolerated. Kanye had to wait for Kid Rock to text him that trite, often said, tired saying. That's similar to like live, laugh, was it? Live, laugh, life, live, laugh, life, whatever that fucking saying is people have on their frames. You know, every time you walk into a girl's bedroom and you see a framed picture with live, laugh, love, or whatever that fucking thing is, you know you're gonna smash in it. You know, you know. <laughs> so the fact that you have to wait for Chris Rock to tell him about fucking go where you're celebrated, not tolerated, it is absolutely hilarious, man. This this nigga lives in a bubble for real. He's never heard the term or the phrase fucking you go where you're celebrated, not tolerated. And funny coming for fucking Kid Rock. Where is Kid Rock celebrated? Someone tell me where he's celebrated. <laughs> in those fucking motorcycle bars where they fucking stream old episodes of uh what's it thinking called fucking sons of anarchy or some shit like where is this guy fucking celebrating kid rock oh i fucking love it you know i bring a lot of uh i bring a lot of you know Koyla. to these platforms to instagram and to twitter <laughs> and they silo you they, they shadow ban you. Everyone knows I was shadow banned on Instagram. People would go and say, hey, you know, he's he's running the algorithm, whatever, whatever term they use. And then I'd see on my Instagram that I had only reached 30 million people. And that's because Instagram is... Uh, of course Kanye will be on Instagram berating and abusing and insulting his friends, ex-friends, right? harassing fucking journalists and stuff because they don't like his shitty white lives matter t-shirt and then he's also on the fucking analytics page looking at the views and how much engagement he's got on the post only a psycho would do that right insult your friends and then check how many people actually saw the post <laughs> see the metrics of it oh. <laughs> you know it was purchased by mark zuckerberg who from what i can see has a left agenda so people are using their technology to silo any messaging that they don't agree with so couldn't it also be that you have said things that offend the community guidelines like anti-semitic comments and things that are seen as insensitive uh, and potentially threatening 
to communities that we try to protect? Really simple question that you would get from a normal person, right? A normal person who doesn't know you, doesn't care about your celebrity, and hears you saying all this mad shit would ask you something like this, isn't it? Like a normal question. Like, don't you think what you said, maybe, you know, a platform like that might think, hey, what you're saying doesn't go against our terms of con- goes against our terms and conditions, so we're going to, you know, maybe stifle or throttle your account. I don't know, whatever. You'd ask that some normal question. Let's hear Kanye answer a normal question from a normal human being. Don't you think? Let's see what he says. Well, I don't like the term anti-Semitic. <laughs> it's been a term that's allowed... <laughs> of course i don't like the term racism (laughs) i don't like the term white supremacy i don't like the term rape i don't like the term sexual assault i don't like the term bigotry i don't like the term xenophobia i don't like the term homophobia Just because I'm calling out the entire gay community and I think they're a scourge on our fucking nation, that doesn't mean I don't like gays. <laughs> Just because I'm advocating for the end of gay prides all over the world doesn't mean I don't want them to live, laugh, love. <laughs> Kanye is incredible, man. I don't like the term anti Semitism. Oh, I'm sorry. Should we change the fucking common language that we all share for you? Is that what she should do? (laughs) Anti-Semitism doesn't exist, right? Slavery was a choice. Yo, Kanye's got some fucking world-class, world-class ways to fucking wind people up. Legitimately world-class. He set the Jewish community on fire, the black community on fire. The only thing we're missing is really him to go after the gays and the Asians. Oh, he did. He went after Chinese people, right? Um, He went after Chinese people. He said the Chinese are in cahoots with the Jewish people. What else does he mean to go after? Um, He's not not going after anyone that's... um, islamic has it he hasn't really gone after middle 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 what you call it uh middle eastern countries really he's not said anything about that that's been about it really isn't it he's not really gone after anybody else but yeah i'd love to see him go on a full tour and just offend every single community in the world every minority group every racial group everything every sexual orientation and just see what power he really really has people specifically in my industry to get away to get away with murder sometimes literally you know and get away with robbing and (laughs) he's accusing the jewish community of murder (laughs) like they're just like like they like what's what's that word called like the like they're like homogenous like do you know what i mean like you can group them all into one isn't this what he doesn't want black people to be grouped at because he says yeah that's an interesting thing right he says group people on a um what's that word called days what's a phrase that you meant to use in politics to describe a group of people fuck what's that word called monolith right <laughs> but yeah <laughs> he's saying the same thing about jewish people saying they all murder <laughs> <laughs> Como. Like, please, God, take me away. Oh, dear Father, oh, Father, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done as it is done on earth, as it's done in heaven. <laughs> Give us this day. <laughs> Doing bad people. People always say, I got screwed on a deal. Is it, have, would that be come as a surprise to you if I said, hey, a music exec screwed someone on a deal? Does that sound kind of like normal, commonplace to you? So well, for me, as, it doesn't have anything like, to do with being anti Semitic unless you believe that all record producers are Jewish or, you know, it's when you talk about Jewish no, no, people no, specifically you're, you're as that, targeting them that creates a problem. It's anti Semitic, but I don't believe in that term. One thing is, black. <laughs> you're saying all these words that i am but i don't believe in the words you're saying anyway so it doesn't count no 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 god is fucking the best that's so good.
I don't believe in your terms. I don't believe in this language you're speaking. This is slavery language. Even though it's a lot, again, Kanye saying English, he changed his name to West because it's a slave name. <laughs> why not stop talking? Why not stop? Why, why shouldn't he? Why doesn't he stop speaking English then? Right? That's a slave. That's a slave language. Why don't you learn another language then, brother? <laughs> Imagine he was in this interview just speaking Swahili this entire interview. <laughs> oh, I fucking love this guy. So to God. Black people are also Jew. I classify as Jew also. So I actually can't be an anti Semite. So, so the term is actually, uh, it's not factual. But I don't. <laughs> what? <laughs> He ain't telling you how you should interpret what he says. I say what I say, and I tell you how you should feel about what I say. <laughs> you're anti-Semite. No, I'm not. Okay, you're not. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I understand you think that, but I don't think that's a common understanding that um, I understand black that people can say whatever they want about Jewish people. Well, I'm willing, so I'm willing to talk with inside the common understanding until we get the truth. The common understanding oftentimes, more oftentimes than that nowadays, is not the truth. All right, so th think about this. But let's just take... There's a common understanding that gravity exists. That's not the truth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess... <laughs> <laughs> a woman could have one bad man in her life that can make her dislike men mm -hmm. let her have two let her have three let her have four there's got to be over 10 times that i've been screwed or bad business has been done with me just in the past two years in the past two years alone and what I'm doing, I'm calling out the Jewish community as a whole to say, people say to me, oh, we grew up on Ye. And talk to your brothers. Ask them, why is Ye upset? Everybody, all they want to do is silence and shoot the messenger. Okay. He's had two years of really bad business. Ten deals in two years. Bad business. If that happened to you, normal person out there, and you had two years of bad business 10 back-to-back -back deals already bad wouldn't you just look in the mirror or maybe get different accountants or try to uh make sure you don't repeat the same mistakes again why would you automatically go to it's the jews <laughs> even if you're doing business with them anyway why wouldn't you learn after the third time that maybe you should watch your accounts or get someone else to help you in with a negotiation or find somebody else to do business with why would you just keep going back <laughs> i don't understand like, it's, and also that sounds like a you problem why should we care about that i don't care <laughs> do you care i don't care about your business deals <laughs> Yeah, but, but yeah, I'm you have to understand. Person. You have to understand how. Wait, so you have to understand. I'm not finished, sir. Huh? Um, all right, but you already made a point that I need to deal with. But go no, ahead. Let me know when you're done. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. And I don't mean to be rude on your show. Thank you for, uh, for the platform. Um, everyone wants to shoot the shoot the messenger. And you look at how your point was going to start. You have to understand. But the thing is, the Jewish people that I'm talking about <laughs> don't have to understand, and that is that privilege that I'm not going to allow. When I wore the White Lives Matter t-shirt, <laughs> the Jewish... Yo, I'm not going to lie. I'm not into all that fucking, you know, what's that thing called? Um, you know, people use that language about, oh, language is dangerous. But, bruv, he's nearing that kind of edge where he's going to start telling people to go out and go to their local synagogues and ask people questions and shit. This sounds like a bit of like a rallying call. Do you know what I mean? This is on the verge of it. I'm not really someone that believes in words of violence, but he is he's coming closer and closer to telling his fans to go into the streets. <laughs> this is really this is really not a great And Chris Cuomo's face shows it. Like, what the fuck is this nigga talking about? But that's what happens when you abuse women. When you abuse women, 
you end up on a platform called fucking News Nation interviewing Kanye in the dark. That's what happens to you when you abuse women. That's kind of your repercussions. That's kind of your karma. You don't go to prison because you're fucking Chris Cuomo and you're, you know, you're fucking set for life. But you don't have to, you have to interview Kanye West in the dark as he's fucking (laughs) ranting and raving (laughs) about this. Underground (sighs) media. Hey, yo, Tokyo Channel. True. I am interrupting. I know I'm doing it excessively, but this interview is available in full for you to watch in your own leisure it's right there look at that it's right there you can check out your for yourself without all the interruptions you can see it right there if you click on it i'm going to be pausing because it's a live stream and i've got to talk you know how it is but you know if you want to watch it yourself with no interruptions you can i'll try my best not to stop it too often but come on you can watch it yourself if you want to come on come on come on come on come on come on mafia already started attacking me they canceled my four sofi stadium shows right they had the press the mm-hmm. same people the 78 outlets that when i was arguing with pete davidson and trevor noah they call me an abuser for arguing with people about my ex-wife and my family and when i get to see my kids and when i don't and they just immediately disrespect me they keep the crazy narrative going they never call me a billionaire we never talked about, even on this one right here, hey, tycoon, billionaire, uh, visionary, inventor. These are never used. If you go to like... Um... <laughs> I, feel, I feel like I've been told off now. I can't interrupt too much. But last point, <laughs> he's crying about the repercussions of saying nutty stuff. Your shows get cancelled. No one calls me an inventor or tycoon. <laughs> they call me an abuser. I wonder why. <laughs> Uh, New York Times or Wall Street Journal, whatever, they always say the rapper, the rapper. It was hard enough for us to get fashion designer. I, I'm going to give a pause so you can uh, address what you want to address. Appreciate it. So, look, there is no Jewish media cabal mafia. Uh, that is a figment of either your imagination or a projection of a prejudice, okay? You may have had bad business dealings with people, It's about those people. It's not about their religion or faith. And I know that you are intelligent and understand that when you target people because of their faith, other people may do so the same. They've been targeted before. They've been abused and killed because of what they believe and who they are. So we don't want to tolerate that. And you're you know, playing and, into and that I right will, now, whether you know that I or not. I will tolerate it as a black person. What you just said was a statement. You're trying to say that there isn't a collective, over 50% of the executives in Hollywood, the CEOs are Jewish. And these guys That's know That's different each other. than saying it's a mafia and that they act as Jews in some way, as opposed to just being businessmen. One plays to a prejudice, the other one just plays to people and an ugly business, which is what uh, the record business in is. So okay, you so can now, have your feelings about it, I... just don't ascribe it to their faith. Earlier, no, wait a second. You can't tell me what to do or feel, first of all. I know, but I can you tell can say, you what is wrong about what you say. He's doing the same thing. <laughs> no, you, you said that it's not a mob. Mob culture, here, here's the idea of a mob. People target, there's no term. Have you ever heard the term, the white vote? Because there isn't a white vote because white people can vote the way they want. Black people, we fought, my, my grandparents, my mother fought in civil rights. My, my grandfather drove the first march out of Oklahoma. My, my grandmother, I mean, my mother used to work for Jesse Jackson at Operation Push. My dad was a Black Panther. My family are freedom fighters, and we fought for the right to vote. You realize when I wore a red hat that I, my life was threatened? I know. By my Jewish managers, by my, by my Jewish lawyer, <laughs> by my Jewish accountant, your lawyer by my and Jewish your accountant friends inside the music life? industry, like my by no, he said not not specifically the accountant, but there were many people who threatened my life. Also, my... <laughs> so he just made it up. <laughs> Let's go back again. He just said he's accountant and he's record label, but look, oh, I love gay. Hi. My Jewish managers, by my by my Jewish lawyer, 
<laughs> by my Jewish accountant, your lawyer, by my and your accountant friends inside the your music life. industry, <laughs> like <laughs> by, by no, he said not not specifically the accountant, but there were many people who threatened my life. Also, my family was torn apart off of my political opinion because of my ex-wife's attachment to the Clinton uh, administration. I mean, they were getting my ex-wife to push the vaccination. I didn't realize how attached they were to the left agenda when I was Vaccinations there. Vaccinations are not a left something. agenda. Yay. Okay, I understand. Yo, 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 Mr. Mace, probably, but I'm not blocking anything. It's the YouTube chat algorithm thing or whatever the bot that they got. They got some naughty words you're not meant to use, so just make sure you don't say bait words and they won't get blocked, but yeah, sometimes your messages don't come through at all because YouTube has this little thing that they do where they censor words and whatnot. Okay, not specifically the the vaccinations, but period that they're on Zoom calls during uh, COVID with literally Biden and Kamala and Chris Paul and all kind of people, celebrities, John Legend, Chrissy Teigen, all these same group of people that come and attack me for what they call wrong think groups, you know. All and look, people... you don't have to like it. You don't have to like it. You don't have to say what people want you to say, but you have to understand and accept uh, what people I, will and won't tolerate. I don't have to understand or accept because they're not. Oh, my God. This is why he has no friends. So he wants to say what he wants to say. But then if you say what you want to say back to him, he doesn't want to hear it. <laughs> willing to understand or accept and that's the reason why i'm not backing down people have had their careers destroyed that's why they keep on saying oh well yeah yay's dangerous because he will keep talking he will well, keep what talking you say it's, a, it's when you okay, say it's, jewish people own the black vote uh when i wake up i'm going death count jewish three on jewish own people the black voice these are not things Jew that you can say coming from a place of intelligence or love or anything productive I am. I'm coming from a place of love and a place of we're not going to be owned by the Jewish media anymore. If you think about every celebrity, Kanye. if you look at their contract, and I'm going to finish what I'm saying. I know, but you, you, look have, at every, you have to understand this wait, idea bro, of the Jewish bro, media. Hey, hey, that's that. not don't how it that. works. Don't You're talking that. to me right la, now. La, 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 la. <laughs> so every celebrity... <laughs> How do you just la 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 somebody in real life? <laughs> he sounds like Dark Side Phil. Do you remember Dark Side Phil when he did that? Please, let me see if I can get this up. Please, please, please. I need to find this video. Oh, I know. I love Dark Side Phil so much. Unironically. Do you remember Dark Side Phil? La 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 la. No one's listening to you. What do you say? Let me see if I can find it. Please. Please, please, please find it quickly. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Agostina. Don't delay, don't delay, don't delay. Dark Side uh oops sorry, sorry. with dark side feel la 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 let's see someone's going where he's on i think he's on live stream oh he's like oh it's the guy yeah is it the guy no yeah is it the yes it, that's it's the guy it's the guy yeah let's go it's the guy let's see if i can, we can find it he goes la 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 no one can hear you where is it this is the one yeah is it the full one? Yeah, this is the one. This is the one. This is the one. He does the same thing. <laughs> Do you know there's like a guy in uh, our group right now who's like streaming this whole thing? He's sort of like semi famous. Oh, I yeah, I think that's Mark said Phil. He I'm was the guy that got caught for masturbating in front of children. Yeah, oh, okay, so he, he was caught masturbating. I think he's like 35 <laughs> years old. Oh my god. Yeah, he was masturbating in front of children. That's on right. YouTube yeah. live stream. Hilarious. He's like he's a, he's a pervert or something. I think he's a That's right. I'm a huge something. pervert, guys. That's all I do. I just masturbate constantly in front of children. You're absolutely right. <laughs> That's you what I'm known caught, for. You got exposed for doing that. That's I got pro That's completely like, exposed. Absolutely. Yeah, you did. I, you didn't even know the camera was on. You know every inch of my dick and balls. Are you the guy? You know every inch of my dick and balls. It's the guy <laughs> watching his Twitch. Is that really him? Is he the yes. one that got caught? Ma yes. Really? He was the guy that got caught masturbating in front of children. I think he's like 30. He's like right. in his 30s right or something. He's in his 30s and he did that in front of children. That's right. Yes. I, but I'm, I've seen so much. I'm, I'm a fan. What? I don't know.
All good talk your channel, no worries. I was just playing around with you anyway, mate. No problem. If I do interrupt a lot anyway, call me out and let me know. Cause I do I do interrupt quite a bit to be honest. I am I should have added my name on the list too. Who interrupts more? Agostina Burke Brendan Shaw or Burke Kreischer. I should be on that list. What to say? <laughs> of course. Of course, and I did it on purpose. That's why I'm still on Twitch and I'm still on YouTube and not banned, right? Yeah, so you didn't get banned? You didn't get fired from any MCNs or anything, right? No. You didn't get fired from the cinema? No? No? No, no I didn't. No? Oh, you didn't, no. you didn't get released? And what about Laveria? Laveria? Oh what my they god. Do? They dropped you. They no, they didn't. They when they found out <laughs> that video. And I really feel bad for Leanna because she seriously has mentally oh ill problems. And I feel bad Whoa, for her. Really I feel bad for her because Leanna is innocent <laughs> and you're the one. Here we go. A fucking idiot. <laughs> well, now I put it into that. Oh, he didn't do la la la. Did he not do it on the stream? What an idiot. Ah, oh, there's a stream where he does la 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 la. Sorry, I subjected you guys to that. He does a la 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 okay. on it. It's not the stream. The hilarious part is the guy sounds so fucking like pathetic and lame. You heard his voice, and he's just like so excited that he gets to do this on a stream. He's like, "Wow, you're the guy! Yeah, you're 35, and you're the guy!" Yeah. Oh man, I wish I could find it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. He did la 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 la, um, and it was funny. Let's go back to Cuomo and yay. Celebrity, go ahead. Every celebrity has Jewish people in their contract. This is not hate speech. This is the truth. And these people, if you say anything out of the line with the agenda, then your career could be over. Listen, so let me, I, I hear you. You've made you that point. Why do you keep cutting off my point? Because the I point you, is... Because why do you a, keep... Why, why, yeah, no, sir, here's why. Don't cut me off, sir. Respect I have point. listened to it. Respect, you've made it several times. Have, no, I'm not finished, sir. I understand, but you've said finished, it several sir. times. I'm not and finished, it sir. Is an but my people thought. haven't heard me. My people, they people need to hear. You. They need to hear. We heard you, brother. We heard enough of you. Me saying out loud what the truth is. There's a bunch of people in Hollywood that are actors, that play basketball, that play sports, that are in music, that know what I'm saying, that feel what I'm saying, and they're happy that I'm saying what I'm saying. It's not from a place of anti-Semitism. That Some is of inherently anti-Semitic. <laughs> and I'm also And Jew. if they're your friends. Some of my best if they're Why your friends, are you talking over me, bro? Because, because trying I'm trying to, to correct what you're out. saying that is no, it's not damaging to decency. No, yo, but you can't talk over me. You can't well, talk over me. Then stop and give me a chance to make the point that you need no, to listen to. Don't cut off. I need to make a clear point. When am I allowed to make a point that you don't You've cut me off? You've been talking overwhelmingly during this segment, yeah? And I was, uh, I'm well, happy to give you me. the time, but... No, you're not. No, you're not. Well, I can't it's a just give you. I can't give you unrestricted license to attack Jewish people exactly. and say that I'm they're your attacking. friends because I'm not attacking that's anti-Semitic, and it's okay. dangerous. Are you going to give me a platform? Are you going to give me a platform? <laughs> I am talk? giving you a platform, but okay, I listen. Wait, so you talk and tell me when I can get my. All right, good. Off. You know what this sounds like? This sounds like those passive-aggressive arguments you have when you're in a meeting somewhere at work. You're trying to present something, and someone else is trying to maybe give you some notes, but you don't like them. So you're going back and forth of this. Yeah, but I did present it. No, but that's the one I did. Did you send me the car? Did you put it into the drive? Yeah, I did put it into the drive. But it wasn't named properly. Yes, it was named properly. Do you know what I mean? It's that kind of passive aggressive fucking thing. Right oh, after you. I ask you this, I'll give you the rest of the time before you go. Here's my All concern right. for you. When I hear how you talk about your personal life and you put things out there and you get into these looping thoughts of what you believe, um, it sounds to me like you are sometimes out of control and that when when a white person says you're out of control he's basically calling you a fucking idiot <laughs> that's what he's calling you uh, because i've heard that before when i was in school agostino you're out of control i was being a fucking idiot <laughs> You are out of control, Mr. Zinger. Yes, sir. I'm being a fucking idiot. <gasps> Don't use that language. It's like, just say what you mean in it. <laughs> this is something that you should be dealing with. Now, I'm not excusing your thoughts as illness, okay? People attacked me for that and said, hey, just because you're concerned about whether Kanye West is taking care of himself emotionally and My mentally. My name's Jay, sir. D My name's Jay. Yay, I'm sorry. Uh, Ye is taking care of himself mentally and emotionally. Uh, you shouldn't say that he has to be held to account for what he says. Both things can be true. 
have you been taking care of your health? And in he, he said he's not going to blame his health, but then he's calling, but then he's basically telling him he's sick. <laughs> I love passive aggressive, subtle white digs, man. <laughs> he's trying to feign like he's concerned about him, but also reminding him that he's an idiot and that he's ill. <laughs> In terms of making sure that you are behaving and thinking at your best. I love what you, you the way you worded it, what you don't realize is when it runs back, people are going to say, wow, have you been making sure you're behaving? If you no. run that back, that's not what I'm you're going to be like, Whoa. that's not what I'm saying. You're trying to cheapen the point. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure that you're healthy and you're taking care of no, your health. I, 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 did you work out this morning? No. Okay, the thing is, okay, so when do I have a... But I took my medicine. Why, but but, let but me I took my something. antidepressant why, medication that I take every day. I, bro, you're cutting me off. When do I get a platform? It's all you. Go. Okay. I don't have to say <laughs> how much money's in my account. I don't have to say who I voted on. You told us, though. You told us you moved a million, 400, 140 million. You voted for Trump. I don't have to say... You went to the gym. Why I changed my name. You just told us in the beginning... The life for a black person in America is like a constant test. Even after we're out of high school, after we're out of college, we're always being questioned. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Do you think that I just had the right, and this is a rhetorical question because I don't want you to answer it. Uh, do you think I had the right to just uh, <laughs> vote for Trump? I didn't even vote for Trump because of the people that were around me. Yes, you have the right. Okay, so <laughs> for all of my fellow entertainers that know what I'm saying, I'm not uh, speaking what is called hate speech. I'm saying something that happened out loud to me. And what I'm saying is, when I said DEFCON 3, what I was saying is, I'm going to talk about all these things that I saw that just so happened to be by Jewish executives or Jewish friends of mine where I saw people pulling my coattail, telling me behave, instantly running the narrative that I'm off, that you need to take your meds. Even this was not supposed to be this conversation. I don't get a clean platform to tell my truth without being my name, being called out of my name, being called subtly, called crazy. I haven't. I uh, yo, Kanye, please, please. This Vic, this is the. I think this is what he's learned from the Kardashians, and I think he used to do this before, even before his issues with his mental health. He's very good at doing this thing where he's always the best and the greatest and the most uh, successful, the one that should be adored and should be, you know, um, given flowers of whatever, right? But then on the same token, he's also always a victim. He's helpless. The Kardashians kidnapped my daughter. You guys didn't help me get my kids back. I want my family back. Like he's always helpless, asking for help from the public. My contract is messed up. Here's my contract. The Grammys are corrupt. Fix it, whatever. <clears throat> always, always a victim. But in this instance, about him not being able to say what his piece is, he was just on a podcast for three and a half hours with people who were basically giving him all the praise that's needed to be in a platform to say whatever he wanted to say, which he did. And he has a smartphone in his hand. If you wanted to say what he wants to say, set up a smartphone, open another account, and just start ranting on there. You're Kanye. Everyone will follow you anyway. You'll get a million followers in a fucking hour or something watching you on live. There's no limit to it. So the fact that he's going on as if like he's being silenced and he can't say anything anyway is nonsense. Go on someone's podcast and just keep talking. Go on fucking Destiny's channel or something and just sit there and talk. Come on. Saying I'm out of control. Part of this thing is you got... This, uh, you got people on my ex-wife's side and this person, Tracy Romless, every day running a narrative. This person's not even around me because I'm not saying what the media wants me to say. We're oh, fighting. Yay. For You're our, definitely yes. saying what the media wants you to say because it drives headlines and clickbait because of how outrageous it is. What I'm saying is, I just hope that you are taking mm. care of yourself that, that, for your kids that, and no, the people not, you care about because what you're saying is... Uh, not yo, right that's un that's and not fair decent. for you to make the conversation to say, okay, did I say something? It's unfair to make it be about, oh, are you taking care of yourself? The reason why I repeated it a bunch of times saying, for all of my friends that are in the entertainment in uh, industry, yeah. that, are, that are black actors, black athletes, uh, and 
black musicians. All one of the things that's interesting about the moment at the Fife funeral is there's so many black musicians signed to Jewish record labels, and those Jewish record labels take ownership not only of the public. <laughs> Uche made a good point here. Big up Uche. People in a manic phase of bipolar have extreme delusions of grandi grandiosity. Problem is Kanye is so infamous, it's not a delusion, it's reality. Exactly. And people feed into that reality. So he thinks it's real. Or oh, sorry, people feed into that delusion. So he thinks it's real. And he has no one around him that's really going to call him out because, you know, he's too rich. And if, if you do call him out, he'll just tell you to fuck off. So he basically is living in a loop and he talks in loops. It's pretty pretty gnarly and if you'd stop him and try to ask him a question he does this thing like what what the hell are you saying who is this person replying back to me shut up <laughs> publishing like how mc search is selling nas publishing right now but also ownership of the culture itself it's like oh that's mine <laughs> cuomo's like who's fife dog who's mc search who is nas what funeral <laughs> guy signed to me it's like a modern day slavery and i'm calling it out that's what defcon 3 meant i'm gonna call it out it didn't mean i wish any harm on my yeah you say Jewish you're going people. defcon 3 on them look i'm out of time on this i wanted to give you a platform to explain it wait a second i just said what i meant did you I, want me to say what i meant i hear did you, you said sense? you said what you meant i'm just telling you how i take it and how i think other people are taking it you, now i, I think who whole, your, how your you, friends were jewish you how What's, what do you mean take it? I just came and said hold it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm confused. Why is he so angry? What did he say? What did he, What triggered him here? What word did he hear? You say you're you going Death Con 3 on them. Look, I'm out of time on this. I wanted to give you a platform to explain it. Wait a second. I just said what I meant. Did you I, want me to say what I meant? I, hear I wanted to give you a platform to explain it. And then he got, a he got annoyed by that. Why did he get annoyed by that? <laughs> <laughs> you said sense. you said what you meant. I'm just telling you how I take it and how I think other people are taking it. Now I, I think who whole, your, how your friends were Jewish. You how you take it. Took it. What's, what do you mean take it? I just came and said and explained. This is what I meant by it. I meant I'm calling out all these contracts. I know, but just because you're calling where? it out doesn't mean it's true. It's just what your opinion is. That's all I'm saying. No, and, no, I'm talking about true things. If anyone else was in a position other than me to be able to call it out and would sacrifice themselves and take the risk, other people would say it. I'm not the first person that said it. Or, or they and just don't you, believe it. Why are you dismissing? Why I'm are you not dismissing, dismissing the point. I'm, I'm dismissing. I'm dismissing the suggestion that uh, Jewish record producers are inherently bad and do bad things. When, as you said, in your own family lineage, would suggest Jews have been fighting shoulder to shoulder with Black Americans as part of the freedom battle since its inception. They've given their lives. They've given their money. They've given their political cap. All right, stop the cap. Stop the cap. Capital to help that cause, and you know that, and I'm sure you heard it from your parents. So the idea that somehow they're out to get black people is just demonstrably false. But I got to go at that point, yay, and I hope you appreciate the yeah, opportunity. You made the, the final point. What I you said, that, and you just want to make sure that I'm okay. It's about my health. It's not about. I, my I do believe that your health should be a concern for you, and that you take yeah, care of it. Yeah, thank you. It's about my health. It's not about my. Truth. It's not all about you your make, health. You I think that you hand. believe thank these you things. Much. And that's a problem. I, you know what? Do you think I felt free in this interview? Felt free? You got a tremendous free amount of time myself. on the number one show at News Nation. You should feel free. Thank you for telling me how I should feel. Good you night. just asked me. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> You're such a boomer. You can't end the call abruptly. <laughs> Oh, what a horrendous interview, man. <laughs> Chris Cuomo clearly doesn't like him, obviously for the things that he said, maybe because he's got Jewish family or because he's got Jewish overlords. I don't know. Kanye clearly was in over his head. Um, He thought he, he, thought he was on Drink Champs. <laughs> you have three hours to just talk. It's like, nah, this is a new segment, bro. We've got to rush you. I don't think he's watched news before and how they talk, right? They're always interrupting. There's always fucking four people talking at the same time and blurting things out to get the little soundbites out. He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. As Kevin Hart says, he was not ready. <laughs> Look at him on the screen. <laughs> Let's play that last bit again. He didn't know how to end the call. <laughs> Look. Thank you. He, 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 you know what's really funny? He asked him a question, Cuomo answered it, and he got annoyed that he answered the question. <laughs> Listen. 
my health. It's not about I, my I do truth. believe that your health should be a concern for you and that you take yeah, care thank of you. it. It's about my health. It's not about my truth. It's not all about you your make, health. You I think that you believe hands. these things, much. and that's a problem. I, you know what? Do you think I felt free in this interview? Felt free? You got a tremendous free amount of time myself. on the number one show at News Nation. You should feel free. Oh, okay. He said you should feel free. He didn't say, uh, y yes, you are free. Man, I don't know, but the, that that those, cement, those words matter, and that Kanye is a fucking lyricist. Um, so he said you should feel free. <laughs> Thank you for telling me how I should feel. Good you night. just asked me. Thank Yay. Thank you for telling me. Good luck to you. I'll be watching. <laughs> Whoever Lauren Piscotta is, God bless you, man. <laughs> look, look at his face. That's what happens after you finish looking to Kanye in 2022. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, Robert Minas, he's not on. He's not on fucking CNN anymore because you know that's what happens when you sex pest. Um, he's on this thing called News Nation, whatever this shit is. I don't know what News Nation is. Never, never seen and never seen a nation of news. And look, they turned up the comments because they're p words. But anyway, move on. Oh, that was fucking brilliant. I fucking love that one. That was very, very, very enjoyable. So you were saying free at last. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh.